To preach for the first time in a collective sense um, the, the religion and doctrine of landscape architecture, um, up till then there had been landscape architects in practice in New Zealand, but they were isolated and they were mainly American graduates, say like Harry Turbot um, from Harvard, Jim Beard from Harvard. So there were two or three, but there was no cohesive whole. There was no professional representation until the, the NZILA was, was formed. Uh, an organisation is only embryonic once and you can't recapture um, that amazing feeling when, you know, something new um, is created. Um, I know that sounds a bit obstetrical, but I'm not meaning it so, to. I mean, I, I was an integral part of that of that whole at the time, and uh, yes, yes, I, I do have some pride and satisfaction um, for what was achieved um, over quite a short time in those uh, initial years. I think that has perhaps a greater an emphasis now within humanity on the individual um, rather than the collective whole um, that we experience and, and I think this is a, a, a global trend um, I, I think there is um, a greater emphasis well obviously with computer-aided design and things like that it's all changed when I wielded a pencil like a single furrow plough, so, you know, all that stuff has fundamentally changed, but I think attitudes have changed, perhaps mercenary may be too strong a word, but I think more individualistic and less collective than it used to be, and um, probably being an old fellow, I, I, I lament that a wee bit. I think that recognition by allied professionals um, was, was one of the, the greater achievements and you know Frank Boffer and Tony Jackman when they formed the practice Boffer Jackman I guess they led the, 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 the charge initially uh, in that regard. The Institute has got to face um, a, a sort of a land use and expansion crisis in New Zealand. Um, when I look at uh, the expansion of residential development and the assessment of landscape values in the land that is going to be converted from some other use, perhaps typically low productive or rural or subsistence, to residential, to urban, and all the connotations that that has in terms not only of what happens on top of the land but the subterranean infrastructure. I think that's sort of the, the big challenge for the Institute now with the intensification of everything that's happening in New Zealand in terms of land use and the competition for land use and the controversy and heated arguments over land use. I think it's going to be very much a human challenge in a sense that obviously is underpinned with an environmental one, but it, it's getting across that human interface and convincing people, you know, of the worth of that landscape input and recognition. We had the, the challenge of an embryonic body, you have the challenge of a consolidated and accepted professional body and this is also a great advantage to you but I guess also uh, a bit of a disadvantage in the sense that you've got to compete with a lot of other professionals now and um, that perhaps we didn't have to do we had to seek recognition as a profession but now somehow you as members have to consolidate um, where you're at in terms of your acceptance but also um, broaden uh, what you do particularly not only in terms of 
drawings and design and computer-aided stuff, but also sort of on, on, on the human um, advocacy front. Yes, I, I think that's, that's where the challenge lies. All I can do as one of the founding members is that I'm very proud of what's happened and I hold out the very best for you and all the very best for your endeavours.